Alright, welcome to uh, part 24, I think it is, of the, uh, where are you going Amber? I want to be a part of this. 24, I, I start to install the grill, all the stainless trim, door handles, mirrors, do a lot of uh, custom stuff on the front end. Finally get the seats all done, weld it in, and uh, figure out the headlights. And uh, I'm sure there's some other little stuff in there. Basically a lot of uh, nut and bolt stuff. Custom stuff on the grill. So, uh, hope you enjoy 24. Get this grill all installed. It's all, it's all machine screws. No more original screws. I just did a little cleaning of some of the stainless. And, uh, kind of figure, these are all the screws I got left. Put this thing back together. I try to buy brand new ones, stainless. Number 10 actually looks like some of these. I'm just gonna try to reuse the clips. Uh, I think these are all different sizes. Maybe I'll drill them out, make them all one size. I don't know. So there's, I think, one of the only ones, the original headlight screws, whatever size that was. That's gone now. It's a large, the six millimeter. This is what I'm using to clean all the rust off the truck. It clearly says uh, put it on metal and then rinse it off the water and paint it. Simple as that. Uh, it's been working great so far. I see a misleading stuff on YouTube about you gotta use soap and water and all kinds of weird stuff. It says right on the thing just use water to rinse it off. Yeah, this is, uh, I think, day two of soaking this thing. I don't know if it's making a difference. I think some of the black stuff's peeling off. These things are looking better. <clears throat> I just wire-wheeled wire these aluminum wiper arm shafts and these nuts. And they look really nice now. The rubber gaskets are amazing. Still in good shape, still pliable. The outside rubbers are rock hard. I'm just going to paint those for now. See if I can buy new ones. With these aluminum collars. I'm wire wheeling the other one. This is the before. And I think I'm going to clear coat them when I'm done. The nuts cleaned up good. They're not magnetic, so I guess they're aluminum or stainless. I don't know. It's kind of heavy to be aluminum. Let's see if I can clean these up. So I'm putting the door back together. Put the door handle on. And the door latch on first. And then I think I'm going to put the corner window in next, and then I'm going to then I'm going to order all new seals and then do them and then do the glass last. So that's my plan. So I just put the mirror back on. What is that? I just cleaned this thing. Oh, still in this stuff. Anyways, number six stainless screws work good for the mirrors. I had to put new order because the old screws are rusty. But this grill stuff here, number six doesn't work. Number eight doesn't work. So I'm thinking about tapping these out and putting in like four or five millimeter. These were five. I just noticed that a lot of stuff is five millimeters. I've got one broken bolt. I fixed one. I've got another one broken on these stupid wiper arms. Those ones, I can't figure out what thread pitch they are. But I figured out the headliner, uh, the sun visor, the rear view mirror, they're five millimeter. Uh, the leaf motor is actually five millimeter. A lot of it's five millimeter of a point eight. So uh, I'm trying to drill, I broke a tap off in that thing. Oh, it's killing me. But um, I'm thinking about drilling these out to five millimeter since a lot of stuff is five millimeter. Because I think six, obviously six would be too big. I think three is too small. I guess I could do three with a washer, three millimeter. Can't figure it out. I painted these rubbers, they're kind of hard. I can't find new ones. I just looked to see if a Z used the same one. They actually make brand new rubbers, the wiper arms for a 70Z, but they're a different style. I was hoping they were the same technology. The Nissan still makes them brand new for a Z, but not for a truck. So sad. These are a little hard, but they're still in okay shape. I'm just hoping they'll seal. You know, I don't want water coming into the cab. There's a seal here, a seal there, it's double layer steel. A weird design. Okay, so these are 10 flathead number screws, stainless screws. And of course I just chipped the paint because I was using a square screwdriver. 
Man, that looks good. I'm really happy with that. It had little rubber boots on there, which I still have one of them. I actually have two of them. The little rubber gasket is still intact. Kind of hard as it's like a potato chip. Let's see if I can plastic dip those tips or something so that thing doesn't rattle all down the highway. All right, so I bought Panhead. I bought number 10, number 8, number 6. Countersink, I bought all different screws to replace all the screws on the trim because they're all rusty and little tiny screws. Pretty nasty. So none of them really fit that good. They didn't fit that tight. So I went ahead and drilled them out. Converted them all to uh, five millimeter. Now, I've just done all nine of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I may even do these four next, maybe. Don't know yet. I may even do the two on the uh, turn signals as well. Get rid of all those little stupid little clip thingies because they just scratch the paint. But here's what I bought. I bought five by 0.80 by 12 I got all different sizes and also I got these ones these are going to be for the interior for the uh, sun visors and rear mirror but that's coming later They're all the same size so I also figured out it's interesting that 5 by 8 is basically the same as 10 by 32 and from my uh, according to my tap gauge and I don't have any 10 by 32 stuff so but I got tons of uh, 5x8 bolts, old Nissan bolts, and new bolts and stuff. So uh, I just bought a whole bunch more. So uh, yeah, let's get the whole front end. It's all going to be stainless. And uh, my uh, rib nut tool just barely fits straight up and down to do all these. These ones will be easy. But it just barely fits to do all these. So, uh, and then it's a 3 millimeter. Instead of a Phillips, it used to be a Phillips, uh, what do you call it? And now these back here are six, so they're just going to be conventional and need some little bolts. I've actually already made those. They're down here. Those are going to hold the headlight buckets in, which I can actually put in next. Now that I've got all this, uh, finally got this trim in, i put the headlights in. Clean these up. Clean them up. I think I try to get rid of the rust on the inside. I think I may spray paint the back of these so they don't rust again before I put them in. So this is my converted headlight bucket. It's now using the uh, score clips instead of the round ones. I just got to put in the buckets. And speaking of buckets, I still haven't figured out which one's which. I just realized that the uh, these buckets have got four different part numbers. All four of them are unique. I'm like, really? Uh, every single one has a different part number on it. And uh, it's because of these little diamonds. I know the right headlight, the inner headlight and the outer headlight are different. So I guess there's knobs on the back. So these little notches on the back. I don't even know if these exist on aftermarket LED bulbs. But uh, yeah, I gotta take these apart. This is crazy that there's four different buckets. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six or so. I think I have some more. I gotta figure out which four go in. So confusing. I thought they're all the same for some stupid reason. You can see there's a part number right there. 52705. And that's 52706. What's this one? Five two seven oh five. I've got two sets of grills pieces. Oh, what a mess! But I noticed it was four different part numbers. So I just got all the. I shouldn't say all. I got three pieces in, and with bolts, and I'm loving it really nice and tight and uh, I got this thing in so has to do a little modification but my uh, just mess around my 3d printed uh, thing did not work this is my test one I had the square and the round 
This one was tight. Now this screw is not exactly brand new, it was a little rusty. And I didn't tap it first, but the PLA snapped off. So, these are too weak. Alright, so I just fixed this broken bolt. Well, I had two broken bolts here. I tapped this one out and I broke this one. I used the wrong size drill bit. It should have been one size bigger. I got lazy and I forced it and it broke. So I actually ended up, uh, couldn't figure out a way to get that broken tap out. There's no way to get to the other side. So I just took this Dremel cutoff wheel and cut right through the middle and the tap fell out. And then I put a uh, nut cert in there. Five millimeter, just like everything else. And uh, I can actually weld that up. I'll probably just put a little silicone on there. The thing will cover most of it, the wiper mount. But that's been a major delay for me. Now I can put the wipers back in. I just gotta retap this one. I'm just waiting for a new tap to come in two days. Maybe I'll just go to the store and buy one. I ordered one online. And uh, this is interesting. This Nissan uses five millimeter bolts. Here. Oh great, just dropped that somewhere. They use them in the uh, computer for the electronic steering. Five millimeters, so gonna be a lot of five millimeter on the outside and the inside. I think I show you the front end. But uh, this is five millimeter. Actually, I think this is something else. Or maybe it just needs to be cleaned. The sun visors and mirror and wipers are all gonna be five millimeter. All these bolts are gonna be converted to six. These are already six. So uh, yeah, let's put the wipers back. Can I put the wipers back on? Oh, I need a tap. So I don't know if I showed this before, but the holes in this grill for this surround, this thing, these are actually already the right size for a five millimeter nut cert. I didn't even have to redrill them. So that was actually pretty easy. Cause I've already done the grill. I haven't done the bottom ones yet. Already done the bottom ones all the way around. So I think I'm gonna do these turn signals next. Those are probably gonna end up being nut certs. Probably. Alright, so this is the left seat. Some people call it the driver's seat. So, uh, first step, I already got that one welded in. So now I welded a big nut, 10 millimeter by 1.25, or I don't know what it is, 10 millimeter or something. So, the back of a plate, eighth inch. I'm gonna put it on here, grind down all the paint. I'm gonna put the seat in, put the bolt in, hopefully it, it fits. And then we're going to uh, weld this. Oh, I can the seat, actually. Alright, so this is the right seat, passenger seat. Putting a sliver in these so I can bend these down. I think the angle is not steep enough right now. That's all I'm going to do. And then I'm going to mark the holes, drill them, plug them. The back ones should be easy. This right seat, passenger seat, is going to be a lot easier, I hope. So here's the before. Uh, there's only actually one little hole I made. Not welding. I don't know, so actually, you know what? Maybe I didn't do that hole. There's a hole here. That is weird. And there's a pinhole there. I'm probably not even going to weld those up because I want to put a dynamat or whatever. Soundproof, and I'll just go right over this stuff. So actually, there's a hole there. There's a hole there, there, and there. What the? Where are these holes from? Oh no. Oh, that's the seat belt. Alright, so there's the seat. Focus on the seat. Let's get the seat in here. Alright, so now I welded the uh, leg back on. You can see it's crooked, which is the way I want it to be. And uh, without setting the chair on fire, I hope, I actually zip tied a fireproof blanket onto the chair. As soon as I cool down, we'll pop it in. I just put the bumper on. That looks so good. I haven't even cleaned it yet, but I did beat on it with a block of wood, try to get that dent out. Man, this bumper's actually pretty uh, tough. Anyways, I'm um, still working on the headlights. They're a nightmare. There's four different part numbers for these things. They're all getting painted. So I just put the driver's seat in again, bolted it down. So now I got two bolts in here. I just put a little tack weld. And guess what? What's the next step? Yep. Take the seat out again. This seat is like 100 pounds too. Oh, this is getting old. Okay, take the seat out again, then I'm going to weld it up. 
Actually, you know what I need to do? Well, then... Actually, maybe I should do it now. i got to slide this seat forward and mark the holes for the back ones. And then drill those holes. I guess I could do that first before I take it out again. So now I put some old Nissan nuts. I bought brand new nuts for this, but they're really big and there's not a lot of room. And you have to make the hole way bigger than the floor, so I'm using some old Nissan bolts. They're little stripped, so there's a good way to waste them. But um, I drill a hole and then I line it up. I make sure I put the nut in the crosshairs in the center, so when I take the when I undo the bolt, the nut will be in the center of the hole because the hole is a little bit bigger than the bolt, right? So I'll weld these two up. We'll have the driver's seat ready to go. Did I show this? I just drilled two holes. I was going to put the plate on the bottom, you know, to keep the seat from getting pulled out, but there's actually a cross brace right there. I think that one would have been okay, but not this one. So I had a crazy idea of drilling the little holes. Holding the plate on the bottom and then spot welding it in, kind of like the factory does. I think that's how like this nut plate is for their seat belt. But the stupid brace is in the way and I could have made a weird nah, just forget it. I'll just put it on the top like I did these. No big deal. It's all gonna be covered on the carpet and everything else. It'll be fine. And it'll be strong. Alright, so I marked the center of the hole on the body, and then I put my nuts right in there. Same thing on that one. And then and elongate the hole a little bit. So now I'm just going to tech weld these. Probably weld this one a little bit more. And then I'll put the seat in again, make sure these are good. Take the seat out again, weld these up. Then I can paint it or whatever. And okay, now I got the driver's side all teched up. I just drilled one hole on the right side. It's a tricky one, I have to cut the corner off of it. And it's actually half inch closer to the door than the driver's side, which is fine. And I went ahead and made the other three plates. I'm using smaller nuts, even though I bought bigger wide nuts. I'm using small Nissan bolts that are smaller, just because I can do a smaller hole in the floor, which I don't know why. But I guess a big hole is not a big deal. But now I'm gonna put these cool down and I'm just gonna put in this one, weld it. I put in the seed, weld it, take it out, and add this one, tag it, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And I got the other one. Just as many repetitive steps. But these are actually cooled down now. In theory, I'll take these out, put this seat back in. And uh, of course, I can't find my tools. Okay, I just put it in, and one hole won't line up. And I don't want to force it. I tried shaking it, everything. I could almost force it over, but I don't want to. I've got all the bolts tight, and one hole is just way off. So luckily I tacked it. So I'm gonna take the seat out of the can, weld that one, already weld the two front ones, move this one over half a hole, tack it again, put it in again, retest. This is the headlight hardware. You got a bolt that looks like it's about 40 millimeters long, five millimeters diameter, 0.8 thread pitch, plastic clip, I think those are 10 millimeters square. I remember correctly let's see here yeah looks like exactly 10 millimeters and a five millimeter hole obviously the spring is what is it, like 24 millimeters like less than an inch actually let's put it right on the two looks like it's about 21 millimeters 21 millimeter spring which is less than an inch just barely over three quarters of an inch. I have a bunch of these and I lost them. I don't know where I put them. I gotta find them. I only found one. I don't even know how many I have, but I think I need four. One for each headlight. I thought it was two per headlight. It looks like there's only four. All right, I finally figured out this number convention. So all these headlight buckets are unique. All four of them. They all, the last five digits are 52704. On this one, so you got a five two seven oh five three four six. So that's the left hand side. Left hand side is uh, even. Right hand side is odd. So five three four six. There we go. And they're even labeled type one, so that means one bulb, high beam only. The outer one is a type two, which means high and low. Two one. Type 2, type 1. 
Got it, good. Now I can finally put this together. Man, that took me forever to figure out. Okay, headlight retaining ring screws. These machine screws are four millimeter by 0.75. There's three of them per headlight. I think I'm missing like three on this one. One of these is kind of nasty. So I just clean them up on my tap and die, but they're definitely four millimeter. These things held in with a five millimeter screw. That makes sense. These are all metric, the headlights. I need to buy four more screws at least. So I'm rebuilding the turn signals. Well, when I say rebuilding, I'm cleaning them and scrubbing the, uh, I guess it's just chrome, it's not stainless. But the light, light buckets are coming up nice. Let me show you. This is the light bucket. It had a little bit of rust on it. I tried to wire off most of it. Yeah, it's coming up clean. I'm gonna just put some acid on it. It's looking good. So I couldn't decide what to do with these windshield wiper post, basically spacers. I wire wheeled them, I sanded them. They're just aluminum, but they're potted really bad. So I clear coated them. They look really bad. They look like came from the bottom of the ocean. So this is a couple of coats of clear coat. So I just decided to throw some paint on them. I think paint them white. Make them uh, look a little less barnacly. Let's paint that. Put a little red on the original horn. So I just put in the wiper arm assemblies. Since I fixed that broken bolt, that broken bolt, and it had the broken tap. So I had three broken things on this one. That one was fine. I just didn't have any bolts, so I finally bought bolts today. I'm using the same five millimeter. I retapped those as the grill. Same bolts. You can use the pan head or the flat. I gotta get a couple more, but I just bought a whole bunch more bolts today to get all the lights together. But yeah, I finally got, I just realized some there's rubber on the inside. I thought that was part of the gasket, but it's actually kind of cool. It's actually, it's like the stoppers. Pretty ingenious idea. Hook that on there. So I gotta, I gotta mount the wiper arm. I think I'm gonna test the thing before I mount it. Assuming it works, I don't know. And then I think I'm gonna mount that thing for good. There's probably some kind of seal here. Oh shoot. Is that oh I think I had a rubber gasket, some weird. Let's say I just realized there's a big hole here. Uh, I can't have a big hole there. That is not good. Uh that is not good. Is that it's not mounted, but I don't think they I was thinking that mounted flush flush. Oh shoot, I don't think it does. Oh, that's another still looking for a rubber gasket for the parking brake. There's what my so here's the original rubber, it's kinda hard, but hopefully it'll still seal this hole. I have to put some silicone on the inside. It goes that way. And then that aluminum thing on top that's being painted. It's like a stainless or aluminum nut goes on top of that collar. So the driver's seat's almost done. I've got all four bolts in, but I got that one's tacked. I got to take out the back one. I got this one moved, and now that one's a little crooked, so I can't get all four bolts in again. The two front bolts are fully welded. I got one on the other side. But uh, here's what I'm using to move the seat. I'm just using a Ryobi battery. So I'm going to have to brown the black and hold it there and I can move the seat. I have to move the seat back and forth to take the seat in and out. But uh, definitely need to cut this thing down even more. I think I am going to move the steering wheel over half an inch. Just cut those tacks, move it over. I think I'm going to relocate my brake light switch because it's kind of like right on the computer. Or the motor, I should say. So I can do that at the same time. And I also have another crazy idea. My parking brake. Uh, kind of comes out to here, which is fine, but I know if it's out of adjustment, it'll come to here. What a crazy idea, I've never done this before, but I know, I think on the D21s, you pull the parking brake out, and you can put it back in, it stays on. But on the 620s and 720s, is that how my 720 was? can't remember now, I had that thing for 10 years, and I don't remember. I think it stayed out all the time, right? I think it was on the D21 where you could put it back in. I could upgrade it to a hard body one. That would be kind of cool. But my first idea was just relocate this thing. 
was thinking about cutting this, I already measured it. I could actually have this thing go up like two inches. So as it comes out, it kind of goes down. Kind of like right into my knee. But it shouldn't come out that far. That means you're out of adjustment. It should only come out to there, but still, I could easily move that up. Uh, actually, two inches. And I think the dash finishes here. Just got to cut this, swing that up, and I think that would work. Or I could even just cut this sides and bend it and plate the sides and weld it back on. I think that may be a pretty cool idea just to kind of give me a little bit more elbow, elbow, knees, knee room. But I got the seats bolted in. I've actually got six inches of space. So now i got to figure out a console. Uh, I want to do a console... You know, like cup holders or whatever. And an armrest. I can't like. I don't like driving without an armrest. And uh, I was gonna put the stereo here, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put it up here. So I probably need to work on that next, or put the wiring harness in and start it. One of the two. I could actually do the radio in phase two. Get the wipers on. I just do everything. Everything to make this truck legal and to get it uh, safety inspected. I need to have wipers. Need to get the electric, need to have a running, braking, and everything working. So, I'm trying to be that with like phase one. And just do stuff. To, console could wait till phase two. Carpet and everything could be phase two. So, uh, gotta focus on the, the minimum requirements to get this thing on the road. So, I got the seats almost done. And, like I said, I think I might have to shorten this column. Kind of feels a little too close now. I already shortened it originally. Put the wheel back on and see. I have a feeling though it's like in my face, but we'll see. It's hard to tell. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below if you want to see more. The truck's coming along. One coat of white paint. No clear coat yet. <laughs>